So we retrospectively reviewed 1,400 patients, uh, 1,400 24-hour urines that were done at the University of Alabama and 665 unique stone formers and we looked at the correlation between BMI and urinary oxalate as well as A1C and urinary oxalate. What we know is that patients with increasing weight and obesity as well as diabetes have increased risk of kidney stone disease and with the rising epidemic of obesity and diabetes we wanted to see if we could figure out some of the factors that are resulting in their increased stone risk. So we looked at the 24-hour urines and we noticed that A1C, as A1C goes up, it positively correlates with urinary oxalate excretion. And as BMI goes up, it positively correlates with urinary oxalate excretion. The interesting thing is it holds true for men and women, as well as Caucasians and African Americans. And I think what it's telling us is that we need to look further into this to understand why these patient populations have increased urinary oxalate excretion. And I think from our group, our hypothesis is that it's coming from endogenous oxalate synthesis. And in understanding the pathways that are affected, it can lead to better treatment options.